everyone. It's time for another What's She Making Wednesday. And today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna make an elegant tag bookmark. An elegant tag bookmark using our new elegant tag punch, our new Courage and Faith stamp set, our Alphabet a la mode dies, and some new Stampin' Up! colors in our bubble bath and our berry burst. And we're using one of our new embossing folders from the Countryside in Sweet Collection. So all kinds of new things that we are using today. So let me go ahead and clear these off so we can get started. Okay, so first thing is that we're gonna be using two of our new colors. We're gonna be using our Bubble Bath and our Berry Burst. So the first thing we're gonna do, I pre-did some of this for us, is we're gonna cut a piece of our bubble bath and we're gonna cut this at five and a half by two. Five and a half by two. So with our elegant tag puncher, topper puncher, so it's gonna make this fun design at the top of our bookmark here. So with a two inch there's a two inch uh, opening here. And so when we cut that at two inches, we put that all the way in and we punch, just push down. Then it will create this lovely topper for our bookmark. So we've got that done. So that was, remember, at five and a half. And then we cut our berry burst at four and a half by one and three quarters. So four and a half, that way we leave room for our elegant tag at the top. And then one and three quarters, so we have a nice border of our bubble bath. Perfect. So we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna flip over our bookmark here. This is like gonna be the base of our bookmark. We're gonna pull in our Berry Burst stamp pad. And we're gonna use in our Courage and Faith set, one of my new favorite sets, we're gonna use in Everything Give Thanks. And I love these because they have the verses, but they also have these great little decorative pieces as well. And I love, of course, the dots. So we've got that, our In Everything Give Thanks. We're gonna ink it up with our Berry Burst. And we're just gonna kind of center that, stamp down, and pull up. Easy, right? Okay, so we'll close that up and we're gonna personalize these bookmarks. So before we do that, we're gonna take our Berry Burst piece and we're gonna pull in our Countryside in Corners Suite collection and in that is this great embossing folder. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the center of our embossing folder so we can get this great detailed print onto our berry burst. So I already did that magic of TV here. So we've got that, isn't that pretty, all the detail? And so we're gonna take this and we're gonna personalize this piece. So um, we're gonna use our alphabet a la mode dies to personalize someone's name. So how fun, this makes a great gift with the size of this bookmark. What's so fun is you can pull in any um, regular card size base. Our bookmark is actually gonna fit inside of it. So you'll be able to mail that just as is inside as a little gift with their card. So we are gonna personalize that just like I did here using our alphabet a la mode dies. Well, these are kind of detailed and so gluing them can be quite challenging. And so Stampin' Up! is so smart that they have created these things called adhesive sheets. And so essentially what it is is a piece of adhesive. So it's got basically protection on both sides and the adhesive is in the middle. So what we can do is we can take a piece of bubble bath and we can take our adhesive sheet and apply it to the back of our bubble bath color here. Before we do our die cutting, we'll put in our letters. So let's say we were gonna do my name. 
So we would just pull in the letters that we wanted to use. I can spell here. <laughs> okay, we would pull in the letters that we wanted to use. We would run this through the die cut machine and what would happen is it would cut out those letters and the adhesive will already be on the back. And so I already did that with the one we're gonna use today. And so once you cut those letters out, I have them all right here, but once we cut those letters out, you can see on the back would be the adhesive sheet left over. So you could even use this, the negative space, to do a fun card with maybe. Um, but we also will have then our pieces here and we're gonna attach these to this berry burst. So you can attach them in kind of a fun, you know, if you wanna gonna offset them. Little pattern, we can do them straight, you know, however you want to do. But I kinda like to line them up before I take the adhesive off, so that way I can center this into my berry burst here just to kind of get a little idea. How fun is that to be able to personalize that, right? So I can see that I wanna move this over just a tiny bit. And so we will go ahead and start with our M here. And so what those adhesives do, those adhesive sheets essentially, is they make our letters here into like a sticker. And so that it makes it so much easier to attach these instead of trying to you know, put our glue onto all these little intricate pieces. So now it's sticky, so I can just go ahead and line this up where I want it and press it right down. So now that stuff didn't have to mess with glue and we can just go on and do that with each, each of our letters here. Love these adhesive sheets. It makes some of these intricate dies much easier to work with, right? <laughs> okay, so now we'll move on to the next letter here. Loving these new Stampin' Up! colors. That bubble bath and the berry burst, they go so well together. Kind of fun and bright for spring, summer, right? I could see here. Sometimes you might need to pull in your take your pick tool to get these off, but especially on these littler ones, but usually I can just kind of peel them. Two more letters here. There we go. See how much easier this is than trying to glue down each of these tiny letters. Okay, and last but not least, our A here. There we go. So now you can see those are all attached directly to that berry burst that we embossed. And then we're just gonna take some liquid glue here. We're gonna glue on the back of our berry burst. And we're just gonna center this right onto our bubble bath. Easy, easy, right? So now they have a personalized bookmark from us. So then we're gonna pull in some of our snips here. And so I use a second pair and I put a little piece of ribbon on it. So you know these are my ribbon cutting scissors. And we're gonna use this great ribbon. It's brand new, it's an online exclusive, and it comes with two spools here. It comes with silver and gold. It's so pretty, so we're gonna use the gold today. And we are just going to, if you cut it at an angle, we're just gonna weave this right through 
the topper punch holes that are right in the middle there. So I just weave it through this bottom one and then weave it back up through that top middle one. I'm just gonna cut it at an angle to wherever I want. And then we're just gonna make a little knot right there in the center. So we've got our, sometimes you wanna do a, a second one just to kind of hold it, you can do that. That way it doesn't untie. And then we're gonna add a little bit of bling, you know, everything's better with bling. So we're gonna use our festive pearls and these come with the red, the, the uh, silver, the gold, all of those great colors and some green. Like, what's the other color? It's green. I always write the, the colors that are on the back of those gems so that I know. I'll pull in my take your pick tool and we're gonna use some of the gold ones to go with our gold ribbon here. We're just gonna put one of each of those festive pearls right on the edge of her name there. So there you have it, an easy personalized bookmark using my new favorite punch, that elegant topper punch, those alphabet a la mode dies to make it personalized, countryside in sweet embossing folder, and of course, our adhesive sheets to make attaching those alphabet a la mode letters so much easier. What a great gift that we can share with others. Happy Wednesday, Stampers!